Hey, welcome back to Beer Vlog. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I posted a, a little preview thing, uh, I think yesterday. Um, I'm ready to tear back into it. Um, feeling a lot better. Oh God, my throat is feeling awesome. So I'm like, good, tonight I can do another review and catch back up. Uh, so I'm gonna start out with saint Saison. Saison. I uh, went to the belgianstyle.com uh, they have like an enunciation guide. I'm like, I'm not pronouncing any of this Flemish correctly. Uh, but they, they have three different, um, for most of them they have three different uh, uh, pronunciations. Uh, you can click on it and it plays a WAV file. Um, so you can hear um, how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. So you're not saying Sizen anymore. It's Sizen. You know, Saint Fouillan, not Saint Fouillan. You know, Saint Fouillan. There you go. So, this is it here. Boom. I have to go ahead and get this open. I'm looking forward to this. Alright. Woo! Wow, look at that smoke. Even on this crappy camera, you can see all that, Jay. <laughs> that was loud. Ooh. Mmm. Very floral. It definitely has a. Uh, Almost a mossy smell, kind of. Um, I don't know what to think of that. But it's a farmhouse sale, so I don't know if any of you have had farmhouse sales before, but they can bring the funk um, in a good way. Not, not, you know, funk over skunk. <laughs> so, um, right, let's give this a pour. Beautiful. So I got the uh, 750. So I'm going to be doing this in a couple steps. Um, I'll let you know. I'll do the first tasting. Um, then I'm going to let it warm up and do it again. And then I'm going to get weight. <clears throat> I'm going to come back, either do another video or tag it at the end of this. Uh, I'll taste the lees uh, at the end of that bottle and see what that's like. Really, um, Floral and a touch of citrus, and mm, it just smells. You can smell the yeast and a touch of wheat. Um, doesn't smell very inviting. Most farmhouse ales don't. Not, um, you get a chance to check out some history. It looks like the the head was really nice. Two finger head there it went down pretty quickly on these, but the the color the color's a nice pale amber color. Um, uh, it's not quite transparent, or, you know, can't really see through it, but it's not too cloudy. Uh, I think it's a little colder than they recommend from Saint Lagoon. Um, hmm, but I'm just going to get and yeah, take a sip. Here's to you. Mm. Ooh. Oh man. Mmm. It's got a lot of bite on it. A lot of um a lot of hops for a for a season. But you know, I mean look you can right on there you can see that the hops. Hops are a prominent feature on the label. <clears throat> They're not always a prominent feature in the in the kind of beer. Usually much more mellow <laughs> with the hops, but funky with the um with the yeast. Mm. Carbonation is the high end on it. <clears throat> kind of like um, you know, like a course and not bubbles up on your tongue. I love it. I love when that happens. Um, it's very enjoyable. Um, it's very very sharp. Very sharp, clean taste though for for a farmhouse ale. It's much more funky on the tongue, or I'm um, sorry, funky on the nose than it is on the tongue. The mouthfeel is kind of light, effervescent. Um, not a lot of sweetness, but um, a touch a touch of 
not a whole, not very malty. Mm. There's definitely some decent malts in there, but mm. it doesn't taste like the wild, uh, you know, Dupont. It says on Dupont. If you've ever had that, I recommend that, especially if you like funky, funky old farmhouse ales. Um, but it's very nice. Very nice, um, almost refreshing. Um, you know, a little darker than most farmhouse sales are usually much lighter than this. Uh, not much for, not much for lace. You know, not much for uh, the head went down. It, it gave me a nice head right off the bat, but that went down pretty quickly. So, um, I'll check back with you in a few after it warms up. Mm. It's opened up quite a bit. Um, now it's not as much sharp, but you can taste uh, some of the different yeast that they put in there. <clears throat> um, and it's usually farmhouse so the only things that you can really taste the yeast, <laughs> at least I can, only t the yeast that they put in there. Um, it, it has that, f that funky, mossy, <laughs> mossy like, you know, you can tell that you just like opened up the barn and let the wild yeast just pour into this one too. It's um, it's the I, I really like this though. I'm I'm really turning getting turned on to these uh, to farmhouse sales and I enjoy uh, this is this is definitely more drinkable, more enjoyable, definitely fun. Not for your average if you know if you're looking for an average refreshing beer, this you might not be into this. Um, but if you if you you have an experimental palate, go for this man, go for it. Um, I'll get back to you in a few uh, with um an update on the lease. We'll watch me pour the leaves in and do all that stuff, so. Here's to you. Hey, <clears throat> I took my hat off. I don't know why. But, um, we're down to the leaves here. Uh, I'm gonna dump those in <clears throat> and see how it goes. Oh, look at that. Obviously the color is way different. You can tell that's all Slang. Yeasty goodness. Ooh. Whew. Not bad, but just, oh, wow. I don't even know how to describe this. <clears throat> Something along the lines of just like you, moss and dirt. Not like bad dirt, not like Budweiser dirt, but like earth, like real earthy. Very, um, very fragrant. Um, Actually, you can smell some hops in the in the leaves, which is which is strange. But yeah, with farmhouse sales, prepared to be unprepared when it comes to farmhouse sales. I can't even tell you what that smell is, man. It's, it's sharp. It's tangy. They tell you it's going to be tangy right in the bottle. I want to tell you this before I take a sip. Um, the cork is numbered, so I'm not sure if that's batch number or bottle number. But it's uh, 10,853, which is cool. So here it goes, here's the lees, which is the yeast, you know, the yeast and sediment at the bottom, if you don't know what that is. I don't try not to call it sediment. I like to call it lees, because that's really what they are. Much better term for it. All right, here's to you. Mmm. Wow. Very heavy. Very heavy on the tongue. Um, hits you with all kinds of different notes. And you get hops along the side of your tongue, right down the middle. You're getting um, a, a touch of bitterness, but you're getting a lot of the yeast. It's very lively, <coughs> but um, very thick at the same time. Man, um, I really like this beer. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I know this beer isn't for everybody uh, because it. Uh, if, you, if you watch this video at all, I'm telling you about all kinds of funky moss taste <laughs> that's coming at you. So uh, uh, be prepared, then try DuPont, and then try this one. That's what you should do. Um, but it's certainly, I enjoyed it very much. So um, this is Beer Vlog, and uh, here's to you.